Next on the card is Carl Robertson versus Wellington Terman. And this is a short notice fight. Terman stepping in on short notice, and he's going to be making his UFC debut against a guy who has an extensive kickboxing background. You know, like his stand up's very good. And his only two losses in MMA are to Cesar Fajaya, who we just talked about. He got arm tri triangled in the first round, and then Glover Teixeira, who arm triangled him in the first round as well. But. I mean, he's got knockout power in his hands. He strings things together really well. His combinations are wicked. He's, he's a good striker, and I think that it's going to be a tough matchup for this Wellington Tournament kid, who, by the way, I'm going off this fight. Like, I've seen quite a bit of Carl Robertson, and I was trying to look stuff up on this Wellington kid, and I could only find so much, right? But a lot of his wins stem, like, from submissions and stuff. Like, he gets he'll, he's hurt guys before in fights, but he gets them on the ground and kind of, you know, gets a hold of him and taps him out. So if you're Carl Robertson, you got to be concerned about that, especially considering the only two losses on your record are because of submissions. So I think he'll be wary of that, though, and I think that the level of jiu-jitsu that Carl Robertson has experienced in the UFC is going to be enough. Like, that should be enough of a learning experience that if he's been working on sealing up some of those holes, I think he's going to pick up a pretty easy win over this Wellington kid on Saturday night. Um I don't know. Like I said, Wellington could go out there and surprise me. I don't really know a lot about the kid. I know he's 15 and two, right? Like obviously, he got a good fucking record. He's been fighting in promotions like Immortal FC and Future FC and stuff like that. So, but every time you come up to the big stage, man, especially on short notice, it's a big adjustment, and I think it's going to be a lot to overcome for him. I like Robertson in this fight, and I like him to finish it in probably like the second, second or third. I think he'll get him out of there. Uh, I just think he's going to have too much experience on the feet. And it's, he, he, there's going to be a speed difference, I think, you'll see in the striking. And I just think that you're going to have to be crafty to get Robertson down. Like, after you get submitted twice, not just one. He got submitted. And not just – not only did he get submitted twice, like, not only are those his only two losses, but they came via the same submission, the arm triangle, right? So, I mean – I just don't see him getting submitted again by a guy who's coming in on short notice. I could be wrong, but I think Robertson's going to take the fight. Oh, <laughs>